Hello guys, um, today we're gonna be making some burritos, and, well, just one. <laughs> so, I'm gonna show you how to make them, and let's start. Uh, well, here is my Primo Scopey polymer clay. Uh, I don't remember the name of this color, because I basically just ripped off this part so I can open it, but... I wish I could have, could have opened it from here. So this is like beige, tan, whatever you gonna you wanna call it, or yeah. And well, you're gonna start by making this tortilla a little bit flat, and just like this. It doesn't matter if it's not round, round or something anything the point is that it has to be big enough for the meat and it's not gonna be like a simple burrito it's gonna be a mega burrito if you know what I'm talking about yeah mega burrito I think that's about it yeah I think it, it'll make it fit and you don't need your pasta machine for this it's just like really quick and simple now to make this, uh, like, meat, it's red meat, that it's, well, I'm using this Primo Scopey Polymer Clay, it's Elisarine Crimson, and it's like this dark red, and it's a really good type of uh, polymer clay, because it gives the illusion that it's real, so it's really realistic. And, well, this will be the mm, carne asada that we call it here in Mexico. So, um, yeah. Uh, to make this, you just need to take a little piece. And you're going to start by doing some really thin pieces. Like this ones. They are really thin, as you can see. And then you're going to start, like, just chopping it them like this la, 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 la. sorry for the noise uh even though they're like really small you're just gonna put them in uh like well in this case i'm using a spoon you're just gonna put them there and you're gonna do the same by taking some brown clay so you're gonna use the uh, alizarin crimson and the brown clay and you're gonna mix them together and it's gonna be like this realistic meat. So now you just have to add them by doing this. Okay. Now make sure you have like this space all around the meat. Uh like so you can fold it. Yeah, oh it's a little far. I think it's good here. Yeah. So make sure it's all in the center. It's not that far. And just squish it a little bit. When you fold it, it's it's going to lose the texture. So it doesn't matter if um, you don't squish it or not. It's going to squish it. Okay, so now... This is the fun part. Well, I consider it my fun part. Now, I'm going to show you how to make um, this oh, this guacamole. Guacamole. Whatever. Uh, you just need to mix some TLS with... Uh, in this case, I'm using the bright green polymer clay from Craftsmart. Yeah. It's pretty cool because if you're a beginner, beginner, uh, you need to use that kind of polymer clay. Don't buy the most expensive one. Okay, so okay, now I have it at the edge. 
And yeah, now you're just gonna put it here. Just make sure it doesn't, the meat doesn't come out of the tortilla. Yeah, just like that. And as you can see, it's really, well, it looks really funny. I mean, it's not hilarious, like, wow, it's just, like, funny because it looks kind of, I don't know, funny. Wait. Yep. We're almost finished. Oops. Okay, that, I think that's enough now. Okay, I'm gonna put it here a little bit. Yeah. So that way you can see it. Now we're gonna add some onion. Okay. For the onion, you just need like this white clay and you make it into a snake or a little cylinder, or whatever. And you start by chopping little um kind of squares or circles it's gonna give you circles because it's like in a snake just chop chop okay chop. with those that you have and as you just need to put them here It's going to be really tasty. Okay. Oh. Here's a piece of onion that won't go. Oopsie. Oopsie. Okay. Now we put... Uh, we already put the onion. Now let's go with the coriander. And now, for the coriander, you just need to make uh, the same steps as we did with the meat. Or carne asada, if you want it that way. <laughs> okay. You just make sure it's really, um, like, soft, so you're able to cut it. Now we do have the coriander. I'm gonna use the spoon. We don't need a lot, so I'm just gonna cut a little bit. Okay, so that's it. Now for the final part, we're already done with this. So the final part is to just fold it. First, you take. Oops! It's breaking! Oh no! Crap! Okay, now it's good. Just fold this part and then this one. Crap, what's wrong? No, 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 not in the video. So it's that this way, and now this you fold it this way, not this, this, this. Oopsie. I think it's, I think I did it backwards, and like that. Okay, so you just need to fold uh, this way, then this way, and with these, 
uh, like edges. Mm, you just need to fold them inside. Doesn't matter if it's like blue. <laughs> you know the shape. Okay, now if you want, you can cut a little bit of your burrito to see the inside. I'm definitely gonna do it. Just need to make it a little bit careful. Well, it didn't turn out great, but it's just because of the tortilla. God. Well, it's my first try, so... Sorry, guys. It turned out, uh, good. Yeah. For my first burrito, it's good. So there you go, as you can see, um, well, here is the guacamole, here's the meat, the meat, and if you want, you can do like with your razor blade, you can just like span the burrito from the inside. And there it is. Well, um, I hope you enjoyed, guys. Thank you so much for watching my videos. It means a lot to me. Uh, and, well, uh, hope you enjoyed it. And make sure to watch all of the other videos. Thank you. Bye.